Hi friends, I have to tell you about um, a recipe that I made earlier this week. And you know, I'm always looking for ways to sneak in more servings of fruits and vegetables. And I've also lately been looking for ways to use up all these beautiful zucchini that are coming off of my tower garden. It's like never ending and I love it. Um, and I wanted to make some zucchini recipe. And I don't know about you, but it's like I cannot have one more sauteed zucchini side dish to a meal. Hi, Kristen. Hi, Lisa. I'd love for you to drop a hello in the comments and just let me know that you're here and you're watching. That's so awesome. So if you're like me and you're looking for ways to get in more fruits and vegetables, check out this recipe. And so it's really simple. I found it, um, I think on Pinterest, it was actually on one of my food boards. And so what I did is I literally took a cheese slicer. It would be awesome if I had a little julienne thingy, but I don't. So I took a cheese slicer, sliced my zucchini, so about eighth inch wide. And then um, I took those over to the stove over there. And I have a grill pan that I can put right on the stove. I spritzed it with a little EVO, that's for virgin olive oil. I didn't put any salt or any seasoning on the zucchini at all, and I grilled those zucchinis. Um, in the meantime, I browned a pound of ground beef, and you could do this for sure without meat as well. Um, sometimes Michael Bauer says, where's the beef? And so if I'm going to do zucchini noodles in my lasagna, then I'm going to add a little meat to the man. Okay, but I get it from a local farmer, um, and so I know where my meat came from and how it was raised and how it was butchered. So that makes me happy. And then I used a marinara sauce. I just think marinara is a little thicker. I also think it has more flavor. I don't even know, like I'm not Italian, um, but I just feel like it has a little bit more than spaghetti sauce. So I like to use that. So I got my sauce going. I did add some Italian herbs. Um, the recipe called for half ground beef, half sausage. And so I wanted to add some extra herbs. So I did an Italian mix in there. Um, and then once my lasagna noodles were done grilling, and the reason that I grilled them, according to the recipe, hi Carrie, was uh, it helps dry them out so you don't get too much moisture in your lasagna. And then since there's four of us, I used an eight by eight pan, um, spritzed the bottom of the pan with olive oil first, laid, um, did about a quarter of a cup of the sauce, meat sauce mixture in the bottom, layered my lasagna noodles, and then I did use a ricotta. I know I don't have to say it that way, but I just like it because it's fancy and I can roll my R's. Maybe you can too. So you can drop me a comment if you know how to roll your R's. Um, so we, I did a, a layer of ricotta and a layer of mozzarella. Yes, I know. I eat dairy-free most of the time. But guys, lasagna is lasagna and some things are just better with cheese. And uh, I was putting zucchini in there and I felt like a little cheese was going to be okay. <laughs> there you are. And then I just repeated meat sauce, zucchini noodles, um, and then cheese. And that really filled it. And um, I baked it for 35 minutes, I think, at 375. And I kind of experimented with lid on, lid off, because again, zucchini has a lot more moisture in it than um, a wheat noodle would. And so you want a lot of that moisture to evaporate and yet you don't want the cheese on the top to burn. So uh, it was totally delicious. I just ate the leftovers for lunch. Oops, super sorry. It turned out really pretty. I will tell you the one thing that I learned doing it is probably double the amount of zucchini noodles that you put in. So I would do a double layer when you put them in. Um, and everybody in my family said that. They were like, this is awesome. We need more zucchini ratio to the meat sauce in here. So I hope you're inspired to sneak a fruit or vegetable into something where they might not be expecting it. And it was simple. I typically don't make lasagna because I don't like meals where you have to cook the thing to then cook the thing. Um, but I did this in, you know, besides the bake time, definitely under 30 minutes because I could do, I don't know, both at the same time. It just went a lot faster. Uh, I felt really good about feeding it to my family. They totally enjoyed eating it. And it was great experience as well so thank you for watching love for you to drop a comment so i know you were here even if you watch it when it's not live and have an amazing thursday and uh if you want to know how i grow these without any dirt 
drop me a comment. Okay, bye.